About eight knots of wind. We're doing about two knots, uh, a little bit better than two knots upriver. And uh, certainly, uh, you know, on a run, this is. Uh, this is not bad. Still set at 48 inches from the gooseneck. Keep playing with the tension to, to get it just right. Uh, it's not set too hard, but it's also not loose. Uh, it's it's uh, the best way to explain it. Is it's firm um, as far as what the what the tension feels like on the line itself. Um, so I guess the, the key is not to have it too loose or too tight. If it's too tight, it doesn't move. There you go. How's that? Uh, got the same movement in both directions um, and uh, you can probably see by the water that uh, we got a little less than 10 but it's, it's certainly a good eight knots of wind um, and we're moving at again about 2.5 uh, to three knots depending on which way I'm going uh, So, I think we can deduce from this that barring setting it anywhere, setting uh, the, the distance back from the gooseneck anywhere else, uh, the only other place to try it would be the 55, that 55 inches back, which is uh, one third uh, the boom. But again, I don't think that that's probably necessary uh, based on the fact that I've got even movement now in both directions, the same setup, same line as before. Uh, I guess the real, the real test would be in heavier winds. Uh, wish I could have done it yesterday, but uh, it's a little hard to do single-handed when you need three hands for the boat and one hand for the for the camera. This is like being close hauled now down river. Same movement, 